afternoon. Here is the news afternoon first, the highlights. Legacy government urges public servants to embrace teamwork. Federal government introduces 50% tax relief for companies. And the foreign team Georgians vote in high stake election. And in sports, Oregon State gather respect facilities ahead of national sports festival games. And now the details, I am Mike James. State public and civil servants have been urged to work as a team with shared vision and purpose in a bid to build a state that fulfills the aspirations of its citizens. Lagos State Head of Service Bodiagoru stated this during a special Juma service in commemoration of the year 2024 Public Service Week at the Alausa Secretariat Mosque. Aguru said the administration of Governor Babadide Sonolu remains committed to promoting a supportive work environment that will guarantee public servants optimal performance and aid effective service delivery to all residents. He said the special Juma service provides a moment to reflect upon the invaluable contributions of the public servants in Lagos State and to seek divine blessings upon their endeavors. He had this to say. Civil servants, the public servants, for enduring under difficult circumstances, for performing above standard, above the required expectation. Our public servants are wonderful, so we need to celebrate them and we need to appreciate them and we need to encourage them so that they will do more than we require for them. Also speaking, the Attorney General of Lagos State, Lawal Pedro, said the government will continue to prioritize the welfare and well-being of civil servants in the state and urge the people to continue to appreciate and support the present administration. Continue to appeal to the people, to the people, to continue to be understanding and appreciate the efforts of our government. President of government is doing if it is able to increase to the level of the that they are said, if you know the law, the civil servant, the public servant, the people, and continue to plead with our advance, our continue to pray for the state government, the state government, the entire assembly of the council, and the body of our executive. In a goodwill message, Permanent Secretary Minister of Housing, Abdullah Fiz Doriola, appreciated Governor Baba Dide Saul for his kind gesture towards the welfare of civil servants in the state, urging them to continue to be diligent in their work environment. The Public Service Week is dedicated to celebrate, honor and recognize the commitment, diligence and sacrifices of the state's workforce. Efforts are in top gear to ensure that the Lagos State Geographic Information Service Largis Bill is passed into law to support development program and provide a computerized and harmonized central database for all land administration processes in the state. Special advisor to the governor on EGIS and urban development, Olajide Babatune, made this known at a retreat to scrutinize the Largis Bill for efficiency and effectiveness held at Ikeja. Babatani said the Lagos bill, when passed into law, would intensify tourism promotion, industrial development, boundary resolutions, property valuation and revaluation for effective taxation and revenue collection, population and housing centers operation, planning of urban and rural settlement and transportation, flood and erosion control, mineral development and communication planning among others in the state. It's a service that interconnects with all the MDAs in Lagos, where we're all going to be able to use uh, special data um, in a way that makes our processes more efficient. So Capture Lagos with your cellular uh, phones, well, your smartphones, you are able to take pictures. You understand? Because those, I mean, you've taken it from a location, it can immediately be transferred onto our platform. And we know that uh, you know, through that uh, technological whistleblowing scheme, the other we're able to find out those who are building, and then we can go there to see if they have the permission. On the spot, the Chairman House Committee on Fiscal Planning and Urban Development, Sylvester Ogunkelu, stated that largest bill has killed through the second reading on the floor of the House of Assembly 
and assured that Lagos residents will be the beneficiaries when it is eventually passed into law. When this uh, luggage bill comes to law, I believe the Lagosian can be in their house processing C or 4. It can be in their house knowing what is going on in the street by assessing um, your phone through the e-addressing e, e system. Stakeholders at the event commended and constructively criticized some sections of the bill and called for harmonization to achieve its objectives and promoting paperless transactions in land administration. In a bit to curb incessant boat accident, the National Inland Waterways Authority, NIWA, says it will consider phasing out the operations of wooden boats on Nigerian waterways. Managing Director of NIWA, Bola Oyebamiji, said this during a media parley with John List. According to him, the development will be introduced in phases with short-term, medium-term and long-term goals to ensure inland waterways operations are not severely hampered. And now to the rest of the stories. The federal government is introducing a 50% tax relief for companies that increase salaries or offer transportation allowances to low-income workers as part of a new legislative bill designed to reform Nigeria's tax system. The proposed law titled the Bill for an Act to Repeal Certain Acts on Taxation and Consolidate Legal Frameworks relating to taxation and enact the Nigeria Tax Act to provide for taxation of income, transactions and instruments and related matters as dated October 4, 2024. A review on the bill on Friday indicated that it aims to introduce certain income tax exemptions to, insens to insensitive salary adjustments. According to a section of the bill, companies will be allowed an additional 50% deduction in their relevant years of assessment for costs incurred in 2023 and 2024. The qualifying expenses include wage increases, transportation subsidies or transport allowances granted to workers whose gross monthly earnings are brought up to 100,000 or less. The Minister of State for Agriculture and Food Security, Aliu Abdullahi, has revealed that approximately 30 million hectares of Nigerian arable land remain unused. Abdullahi made this statement during a courtesy visit from the National President of the National Tomato Growers, Processors and Marketers Association of Nigeria to the Minister's office in Abuja ahead of a one-day roundtable event. According to him, on the utilization poses serious implications for food security, especially as the country faces rising food prices and seasonal shortages. Abdullahi emphasized the urgency of addressing these issues, particularly in light of the upcoming dry season. And in some foreign news, Georgians are voting to decide whether to end 12 years of increasingly authoritarian rule in a decisive vote on their push to join the European Union. Some see this election as the most crucial vote since Georgians backed independence from the Soviet Union in 1991. The governing Georgian Dream Party is widely expected to come first, but four opposition groups believe they can combine forces to remove it from power and revive Georgia's EU process. The EU last December made Georgia a candidate. A bid which was frozen a few months ago after accusing the government of democratic backsliding of a Russia-style law that requires groups to register as pursuing the interest of a foreign power if they receive 20% of funding from abroad. About 3.5 million Georgians are eligible to vote. Over to sports news, the state government says preparations are in top gear for the 2024 National Sports Festival Games to be hosted by the state in January 2025. Governor Dakwa Biodu affirmed his administration's commitment to providing state-of-the-art facilities for the event after inspecting the ongoing renovation of the MKO Abiola Stadium and uh, Ijega Sports Centre in Abelkota, the state capital. Abiodu expressed satisfaction with the level of work done so far and the competence of the contractors handling the project. 
And that was our news at 12. But just before we go, always carry out proper and adequate checks on your vehicles before setting out. You can follow us and like all our various social media platforms. X Traffic Radio 961. Facebook, Lagos Traffic Radio 96.1 FM. Instagram, Lagos Traffic Radio 961. Subscribe and watch our news and programs live on YouTube, Traffic Radio 961. And you can also visit our website. That's www.trafficradio961.ng. Did you know that the Solo administration supplied 86,012 furniture sets to 775 public schools? Well, you can get more details. It's on the Legacy Government website. And to end the news, here are the highlights of the major stories. The Lagos State Public Service and Civil Servants have been urged to work as a team with shared vision and purpose in a bid to build a state that fulfills the aspirations of its citizens. The federal government is introducing a 50% tax relief for companies that increase salaries or offer transportation allowances to low-income workers as part of a new legislative bill designed to reform Nigeria's tax system. We also told you that Georgians are voting to decide whether to end 12 years of increasingly authoritarian rule in a decisive vote on their push to join the European Union. And in sport, the state government said preparations are in top gear for the 2024 National Sport Festival Games to be hosted by the state in January 2025. And for contact with the newsroom, send a message to info at trafficradio961.ng. The ends the news broadcast. This was compiled by Adirayodu Olaya. Thank you for listening, Lagos. Beautiful Saturday afternoon to you. My name is Mike James. Thank you.